what's up guys um a lot of you have sent me messages wanting to know how i got my jerk chicken in the oven to get so charred or have that charred um grill look i didn't have any chicken to jerk but i had some turkey drumsticks inside of the freezer so i defrosted these and i'm going to use the same method on these turkey drumsticks so for the seasoning i have garlic powder onion powder i have the dry jamaican jerk seasoning i have adobo meat seasoning um this is paprika and this is my um homemade jerk seasoning you can find the recipe for this on my youtube and I also have some peppers cut up here. And now I'm going to get to seasoning. So I'm gonna start with the garlic powder. I'm going to sprinkle just a bit on them. I have onion powder. Oh, I have chicken seasoning hiding behind here. I didn't even notice it. I got the island spice. Um, chicken seasoning that we're going to use and the turkey meat is very dense so you have to look you have to use enough seasoning so it may look like I'm using a lot of seasoning but it's really not I got the dry Jamaican jerk I have adobo have the meat seasoning I like this brand the blue um, blue mountain country it's pretty authentic I have the meat seasoning from blue mountain country I like this brand it's pretty authentic and it has a good flavor sprinkle just a bit and then now we have our paprika The paprika is really going to give it a nice rich color as well. And I'm going to use about two spoons of my jerk seasoning. Maybe a little more because these are pretty big. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just rub all of the seasoning into the drumsticks. So here's our drumsticks nicely seasoning. You want to make sure you pull the skin back and get all of the seasoning under the skin and just push it back. So as you can see, they're nicely seasoned. There you go. Pull the skin back and you see how the seasoning is there and you see how dense the meat is that's why you have to make sure it's appropriately seasoned or else your drumsticks are not going to have any flavor and we all know turkey meat can dry out so there you go we're going to stick these in the oven at 400 degrees covered with foil and then let the oven do its work. So here's our drumsticks ready for the oven. I'm going to just drizzle a little oil on each. And the purpose of covering it is so that the steam cooks the meat and your meat stays nice and juicy. Okay, so in the oven we go. So here's our drumsticks after being in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. As you can see, the meat is nice and tender. Look at that. Nice and tender. And it's also very juicy because we covered it up. I didn't even baste this and it's nice and juicy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some slices in it diagonally and then I'm going to brush it with some extra jerk seasoning and put it back in the oven just for about 
10 minutes on 400 degrees and that'll give you the char marks that you're looking for. So as you can see, I have some cuts in it. Look how juicy the meat is. See how tender it is? It's not dry. So I'm just brushing the extra. I'm gonna put it in the oven for another 10 minutes on 400 and you'll see that type of grilled look that you're looking for. It smells amazing. So there you go. We're gonna put it right back into the oven and you'll see what it looks like when all is said and done. I'm also gonna sprinkle our little peppers we had on the side. This is just for added flavor. This is completely optional. Back into the oven we go. See? Ta-da! There you go. You got the char marks. See? There you go. You have that charred look on them all. There you go. So as you can see, our meat is still juicy. Now you can do it yourself in the oven. And it looks like it came fresh off the grill. There you go.